All right, this is second grade, module seven, lesson 13. And in this lesson, students are gonna be solving word problems, but they're gonna be doozies. They're two-step word problems that makes it really important that uh, we teach our students how to uh, draw their thinking out using uh, tape diagrams. So parents and teachers, this video is really gonna focus not so much on the mathematics, which is the arrow, arrow model, or the standard algorithm of subtraction, but really this video is gonna focus on drawing those tape diagrams. So let's get started. So we've got Hei Zhang, and Hei Zhang bought a pretzel for three dimes and a nickel. She also bought a juice box, but we don't know how much. And then it says she spent 92 cents, and the big question is, how much was that juice box? All right, so there is our question. So let's start by drawing the picture. Well, let's first off, let's figure out that pretzel because it says she spent three dimes and a nickel. So how much did Hei Zhong, uh spend for that pretzel? Well, she spent 35 cents. So we've got a pretzel and we've got a juice box. So I'm going to draw... There's a variety of ways that we could draw this problem, but I'm going to draw a tape diagram, uh, two separate tape diagrams here. Uh, two separate tapes is what I should say. And I'm going to start by saying, okay, we are going to make both of these tapes the same length. When I have two characters, I always start off by drawing both tapes being exactly the same, and then I go back and I read the question and I edit the tapes as necessary. Sometimes I don't even have to edit them. It's perfectly fine that I draw them equal even though they're not. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to read the question. It says, Hei Zhang bought a pretzel for 35 cents. So this right here represents 35 cents. So I'm going to draw 35 cents right there, okay? And then it says she also bought a juice box, but we're not told how much that juice box is. So I'm going to draw a question mark right there. And it doesn't say if it's less than the pretzel or longer than the pretzel. So I'm just leaving it the same. It's perfectly fine. Now it does say she spent a total of 92 cents. So both of these combined equals 92 cents. So how much money was the juice box? And that's why right here, that how much money was the juice box? That's why we have a question mark right here. So what's the, what's the equation? Well, that's going to be 35 plus what equals 92. There's our number sentence right there. Oops, 35 plus an unknown amount equals 92 cents. And then, of course, we can use the area model. I'm not the area model, the arrow model to find that missing value. Or we could use a subtraction, subtract using that standard algorithm. Parents and teachers, I'm going to leave it up to you to finish up this problem. Here, Monique saved two $10 bills, four $5 bills, and 15 $1 bills. Harry saved $16, more, $16 more than Monique. So how much does Harry have saved? Well, the first thing we need to do is we need to figure out how much money does Monique have. So Monique saved two $10 bills. She saved four $5 bills. And then 15 $1 bills. I'm going to hold off on that for a second. So two $10 bills, that's 20. Four $5 bills, so that's 5, 10, 15, 20. That's also 20. So 20 plus 20 gives us 40. So together she has $40, but plus we have to add in that $15 $1 bills. So Monique has $55, all right? So Monique has $55. So now I'm ready to draw my tape diagram. So we have Monique and we have Harry. And Monique and Harry, I'm gonna start with the tapes being the exact same. 
And I'm going to go back and I'm going to read the question. Monique saved. And all of this, all of this stuff is equal to $55. All right. So Monique saved $55. Harry saved $16 more than Monique. So that means Harry's tape diagram needs to be a little bit longer than Monique's. And we know that Monique saved $55, and Harry saved $16 more than Monique. So that means this tape right here, this portion, is also 55. Because I started off by drawing two tape diagrams being the exact same length. So both of these represent 55, but Harry has an extra $16 stuck on to his tape. The question is, how much did, tape, uh, did Harry save all together? So the question mark is right here. So that's addition. That's just 55 plus 16. And that's going to give us the answer for Harry. And the last problem for this slide video, Heather had three $10 bills and four $5 bills left after buying a new pair of sneakers for $29. Boy, there's a lot of information all in that one long sentence. And the question is, how much money did she have before buying the sneakers? So let's first figure out this what this big amount is right here right there. Three $10 bills and four $5 bills. So there's a $5 bill, there's a $5 bill, there's a $5 bill, and there's a $5 bill. So how much money does she have all together? Well, this part is 30 and this part is 20. So she has $50 so she had, uh, she had $50 after buying a new pair of sneakers for $29. So let's see. So Heather, I'm just going to put Heather. And so she had a whole bunch of money. And we don't know how much money she had at the beginning. But we know that she bought a pair of sneakers right here, sneakers for $29 and left over, she had 50 bucks because of the math that we had to do before, right? So the big question is, how much money did she have at the beginning before she bought the sneakers? So we need to do 50 plus 29, and that's going to give us our answer. And of course, this is probably easiest to use that standard algorithm, although students might be able to use some mental math. That would be a good idea, too. And that wraps up second grade module 7, lesson 13, solving two step word problems in particular, making sure we use those tape diagrams to help understand the problem.